I've been on all the Great Lakes. I treasure the Great Lakes. It's clean, beautiful water. Without this body of water, we don't have a business to begin with. Owning the marina, I could see the processes that we were doing. Ready to go. Inducing contaminants into the lake. And you multiply that by the number of marinas, it just made sense that we had to clean up some of the things that we did. Keeping our waters clean is important to boaters and marina owners. But the process of cleaning, protecting, and maintaining boat hauls can be harmful to the very waters we depend on for our businesses and our fun. In the fall, when the boats are hauled from the water and stored for the winter, they frequently are pressure washed. All of the bottom paint that's used on boats is an ablative paint. So what happens when we pressure wash it is a substantial amount of that bottom paint will wash off and go directly into the water. Anti-fouling paints that are used by uh, most larger boats do contain uh, amounts of heavy metals, copper and zinc and, and so forth, which prohibits the growth of uh, algae and other aquatic life on the hull of the boat. So they do contain materials that are toxic to aquatic life. When we used to just wash it into the lake, the lake would turn a nice blue, like the bottom paint. The wash water may also contain organic material, detergents, grease, and oil. Those materials can be harmful to water quality in your boat basin. Stormwater discharge permits can vary from state to state, so it's always good to check with your state to make sure you're in compliance. But for marina owners and boaters who frequent clean marinas, there are a variety of options to keep hulls maintained and our water's clean. You can try to minimize the amount of wash water that's created by using a high pressure, low volume nozzle on your pressure wash system. You can also minimize runoff by trying to collect this wastewater. When this um, cement pad was put in, it was very carefully graded to this trough, which captures all the water, with the vast majority of it coming to this aft end down here. As you'll see when we pull the boat out here shortly, the boat will hang right over the top of it, we'll pressure wash it, and everything will run to the center. Some mechanism or treatment system that can filter out and separate those particles and collect those so that they can be gathered up and disposed of properly. While each marina operator will need to decide what equipment is appropriate for their facility and budget, once installed, the systems are both effective and easy to maintain. You can see the copper. That's all now getting washed into the collection basin. That's all sludge. It's all stuff that's coming off the bottom of the boat when we pressure wash. By capturing this water, we've completely eliminated the additional ablative paint going directly into the lake, as well as the particulate or invasive species that may be attached to a boat when it comes in to be pressure washed before hollow. And then the water itself may be further filtered or treated through a type of active treatment system. This system captures all of our wastewater that we make from the runoff on our washing of the boats in the fall. If we were able to capture 100% of the water, we'd only be using the same 250 gallons of water. We get a lot of it lost to evaporation. We also lose a little bit to overspray. But for the vast majority of the water it's coming back through, I think we only add maybe about 10 gallons a week. After we get done pressure washing, the last 10 boats of the 130 we pull next week, we'll shut the valve and then we'll pump the, the water off to the wastewater tank and then we'll go in with a shovel and we'll shovel this whole thing out, we'll clean it, all of the sludge will be basically taken off to the hazardous waste disposal. No matter what your choice for filtration, protecting our waters is not only good for the environment, it can be good for business too. If you start looking at the number of marinas that essentially wash bottoms of boats this time of year and all that gallonage going back into the lake. If we can cut this down, it's a huge, huge success for the program. I truly believe in the long run it's going to garner more customers because they want to essentially come and do business with a clean marina. We run our business at a very, very high professional level and a lot of that is at the impetus of the clean marina. It just makes us bump that bar up a lot higher. We're very clean and presentable looking. I think makes it very appealing and the Washburn Marina is at 100% occupancy. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a certified clean marina, it's easy through the online clean marina classroom. You'll find more information about boat maintenance and best practices for fueling, sewage handling, marina management, boater education, preventing the spread of aquatic invasive species, everything you need to be certified clean. And you can take the course at your own pace. Just point your browser to www.glcleanmarina.org. Thanks for watching.